This right here is called a bamboo bar. It's a barbell made of bamboo. And before you think, why am I showing you this? Because we don't have 10 of these at Straight of Fitness Norwalk. It serves a really specific purpose. And if you watch to the end of this video, I'll show you how you can get basically the same benefit of using a bamboo bar without using a bamboo bar. This is basically the part that's made of bamboo. It has these markings on here to make sure you're in the middle. Then it has this big thick collar that you can wrap either a strap around so you can put an anchor on and put plates on. You can also wrap bands around and it's a very lightweight barbell. You use it as you would a regular barbell. By the way, off topic tip, every barbell usually has markings on there. This bamboo bar has markings as well. One mistake so many people make is they don't look at the markings on the barbell. So they'll just like wake up, go to the session, rub the sleep out of their eyes and get under the barbell. But if you don't watch the markings on the barbell, then you might be all off to one side. And then if you're going to squat it or press it, then you're going to have imbalance, tear your shoulder off, have to rehabilitate for weeks, months. Your doctor's going to tell you to stop working out. Eventually you're going to get diabetes that way. So what I want you to do is look at the markings on the barbell. Get on there. What I usually like to do is put my ring finger on this one, the outer one. I'm a little bit low on the J hooks, but you just use it as a regular coming down. Now this is really not too unstable because it's using plates. So it would really only be unstable if I go fast, but if I control it, then it's not too bad. Now, what would be the point of me showing you this if you don't even have a bamboo bar? Most gyms don't, and honestly, this is just a toy. So, what I want to tell you is that uh, you can do all this at home yourself. Can you believe it? Yeah, here's how you do it. What you do is you do need one or two, actually two, of any of these bands. So, these are the Rogue Fitness bands that we have here at SUF Norwalk. We got these oranges. These are going to be too light. Reds are going to be too light. Blues. I would actually go for the greens um, if you're going to or order them on Rogue Fitness. Greens or blacks, those are like a good medium level of tension. And one way to make it a whole lot less stable is to take the plates off. And then you get that same plate, you get a green band. I got a green band right here. You can also get a black one. And you literally just put that band through the hole of the plate. Muy simple. And then you're going to have this little like handle, suitcase handle that you can hold on to the plate with basically, right? So you can just hang the plate like this. So then it's hanging like that. You're already on the bamboo bar and you got the bands also. As a result, this right here is gonna be a whole lot less stable. See, I'm already shaking right here. You really gotta flex. And if you just have a little bit of imbalance, you see how much it shakes? So then you gotta control that all the way down, all the way up right here. And you can't let the bands bounce either right here. So. You're probably wondering now, what's the benefit of all this? The benefit is that if you lift weight that is a little bit unstable, then what happens? Your shoulder is gonna have to recruit on a shoulder press a whole lot of muscles that you otherwise would not have to use if you're just doing a machine or even a barbell bench press because all that instability, the chaos, is causing all your stabilizer muscles to really fire up. So stuff like this is really good for a warming up to activate all the muscle. So all your muscle is active for your big lift coming up and B, if you've been injured, this is a good tool to use to rehabilitate an injury because this forces you to use all the muscles in all directions instead of just doing, let's say a machine where you just push from one point to the other. Now, if you do not have a bamboo bar then that's okay because literally you can get about I don't know, I would say about 60%, 70% of the benefits by simply using bands. Loop them around, like I showed you earlier. It's a little tricky with plates. You can also use kettlebells. These plates are a little big. Make sure your elbows are on the inside. Stomach stays tight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tuck your chin in. Put all the air in your stomach. And then you come up. See, I'm already kind of unstable, right? So straight up, straight down. Plates are a little awkward. If you have smaller plates, I would use those or light kettlebells. For instance, on kettlebells, you would just get the handle, get the band, loop the band through the handle right there. And then again, make that little handle out of the band right there. Boom. Now you can do this not just on a shoulder press. Of course, you can do it on chest presses, bicep curls, even bent over rows if you have enough room. So right here, for instance, I'm on a high incline chest press, straight up, 
straight down. See how much my arm is shaking. If you're uh, struggling with shoulder issues or you feel like you need a better warm up and you have sessions or you just work out on your own, come into the gym a little earlier, five, 10 minutes, get on some bands, loop them around uh, some plates. You could try a dumbbell, some kettlebells, and just do like 15, 20 reps until you feel like that is warm. It's not about the weight, it's about the activation. All right, hope this helps.